we're going to determine whether these ICs are good. One of them is shorted and the other one is good. Now these ICs right here bring the part number up so you can see it. They're Darlington transistor array drivers. I'll bring you the data sheet up in just a second. This right here is the pinout for that IC. Now you can get this data sheet from anywhere on the internet. Uh, normally you just type the port number in into Google or DuckDuckGo and you'll be directed to a place where you can pull that data sheet out. There's all kinds of data sheet websites where you can download these PDFs. The data sheet shows you the pinouts of the IC. It also gives you a description of what the IC is, what it's used for, uh, its voltage and current levels. The data sheet is very important. But all we need today is we want to know if this IC is good or bad. Uh, normally these transistor array ICs will short. And they usually short on the driver side, uh, the, the side that's doing all the work. Uh, for instance, if this IC was turning on a relay and the coil of the relay shorted out, this IC uh, the output side would pull too much current to ground and it would short. That's usually what happens to these ICs. They will short out. Well, how do you know if it's shorted? What we have here is our meter. Uh, it's best to use a DMM. Any DMM with the diode function will work has the little diode symbol right there. I'll bring this up so you can see it. This function right here, that's the diode test function. We want to set our meter to that point right there to put our DMM into diode test. From our PDF we see that ground is pin 10. We put our red lead on ground, pin 10 of this IC, and we put our black lead on each pin all the way around. And we should have a good diode drop in the meter. So the red lead on pin 10. We're going to go to pin 1. 0.691, good. Pin 2, 0.695, that's good. Pin 3, 0.696. Pin 4, 0.699. Pin 5, 0.698, that's good. 0 0.686, 0 0.689, 0 0.690, 0 0.582. So that side of the IC is good. It's not shorted. We're going to go to the other side. This is the output side. There's pin 11. 
0 .68, 0 .702, 0 .703, 0 .703. All the diode drops around this IC are good. This IC is not shorted. Now let's go check the other IC. We put a red lead on ground of the IC, which is pin 10. Now we're going to do the input side. 0 .683, 0 .692, 0 .693, 0 .69, 0 .7, 0 .677. A little odd on that one. Danced around a bit. There's 0 .677. 0 .663, 0 .661, 0 .648, oh, now there's our first short. From ground to pin 9, pin 9 is VS on this IC, so we have a short from pin 9 to ground. Let's go around to the other side. Here's pin 11. That's shorted. That's point zero zero one. That output is shorted. Here's the next one, pin 12. It's shorted. Point zero zero two. Here's pin 13. It's shorted. Point zero zero one. There's 14, it's shorted, 0 .048. 15, 0 .700, that one's okay. 16, 0.690, that one's okay. Here's pin 17, 0.691, that one's okay. Here's pin 18. 0.688. That one's okay. Now, this IC is bad. We cannot use it. Even though we had some good inputs and good outputs, the VS pin 9, the voltage source pin 9 to pin 10 ground is shorted. This IC would start popping fuses uh, in the system loading down the power supply in the system. So even though we had good inputs and outputs on some of those, there's no way you could use this IC. This is the bad IC. That's how you check an IC for shorts. You can also use this same uh, test with TTL and CMOS, uh, communications ICs, any IC uh, this test for short circuits will work. Uh, the TTL uh, acts just like this. It'll have a 0.5. Oh, I've seen them down anywhere to 0.4 up to 0.7 uh, diode drops. Those I would consider those good. You get down below into the short circuit range like you saw in this IC, that's, uh, that's bad. Now, uh, the CMOS ICs, I've seen them, especially the older ones, uh, with diode drops from 0.7 on up to 1.8. As long as they're not shorted, they're probably okay. Uh, communications ICs, I've seen inputs that were open, especially uh, differential line receivers uh, with inputs that are open. They would show an OL. When you put your red lead on ground and you go around the IC, the inputs would be open. Uh, th those are probably okay. The rule of thumb here is if you don't think 
DIC is good, go ahead and replace it. If you have uh, an, a communications IC, like an MC1488 or an MC1489 or a 75 series IC, SN75XXX, those communications ICs, if uh, you are having problems communicating between devices, Go ahead and replace that comm I see. It's probably the best thing to do there, even though your meter says that it's not shorted or um, be best to replace those guys. But that's how you check it. For shorts, you put your lead, your red meter lead, on ground, and then go around the IC with the bu uh, black meter lead. There you go. That's how to check an IC for short circuits.